Let's move on. I'm willing to bet it's not this one. The Detroit Lions, 6-10 and 10 last year. Division champs plus 1,000 to win the division. Strength of schedule number 15. So right dead in the middle. Turnover margin, they were 24th last year, minus 5. Over under is 7 this year. Their juice is plus 120 on the over, minus 140 on the under. They are a projected favorite in only three games this year. Uh, yards per play, they were number 27 on offense last year. That's 5.1 yards per play on defense. They gave up 5.7. That was good for number 19 in the league. Offense coordinator, Daryl Bevel. He was Seattle's offense coordinator in 2017. They brought him in this year. Uh, they signed, and this is, I'm telling you, it, between the draft and, and what they signed, they are trying to turn this into New England 2.0. That's, that's right. That's exactly he doesn't, what Matt he doesn't Patricia's make any trying bones to do. about it. Uh, running back, they brought in C.J. Anderson to go behind Carryon Johnson. Wide receiver, uh, they brought in Danny Amendola. They brought in Jermaine Curse. Uh, they brought in tight end Jesse James. They drafted T, uh, T.J. Hawkinson, tight end out of Iowa, who is the most like Gronkowski uh, coming out of this year's draft that you could get. Defense coordinator, Paul Pasqualoni. Pasqualani. Pasqual had, you, you would know how to say that. I, I would say Pasqualoni. Um, they signed defensive end Trey Flowers. They brought in cornerback Justin Coleman, both of which are expected to start immediately. Uh, projected favorite, again, in only three games this year. The over-under is seven. I don't see them getting to seven this year. I like Patricia. I like what they're doing. I don't think that you can replicate what New England does. I've got them at six and ten this year. And and I feel like that's a pretty good six and ten. Like, their schedule is pretty difficult. Yeah. Um, but, man, I, I, I just... What they do with Matt Stafford, he they they rely on him so much. Now I think they're going to get back to you know really focusing on running the football. They're going to run the football this year, but even still, like Stafford makes some some crazy decisions sometimes. Um, I I think I think six and ten this year. I got them seven and nine. I'm one game different. Okay. I think they I think Vegas gets his number right on the head. Um, they're going to be better conditioned. I mean, he did. I mean, he had like the the team build a hill, like the Patriots build a hill. They run that hill just like the Patriots ran that hill. And that's not. I'm trying to be like the Patriots. One of the reasons the Patriots win in the playoffs and win a lot of one score late games is because they're just better conditioned than everybody else in the league. Yeah. And and it's kind of shocking that other teams don't have conditioning drills the way, like I remember in high school. We did conditioning at the end of every practice. Like yeah. you practice, and then we're gonna run, and and we ran up hills and we ran up bleachers and we did these things and it was the whole team had to do it. I'm baffled that in the NFL they don't do this as a team. They I guess they just leave it to the players to do it themselves, and and a lot of guys just don't. Yeah. So so I I think that's gonna matter in a game or two. There's gonna be a couple of games where they're gonna be picked to lose. And they're going to be better conditioned than the other team in the fourth quarter, and they're going to make plays that that either stop that team from coming back or put them over the edge. I think they're going in the right direction, and and yes, the best thing they could do for Matt Stafford is run the football some. Yeah. Now take that pressure off of him. My biggest thing in the NFL. I've been watching this for a long time. Drafting a tight end with your first pick is tough because. In the NFL, receivers used to be their third year was a breakout year. Now, rookie receivers still struggle. Second year, those guys can really break out and do some things. You don't yes. really take third years. The offenses in 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 um, in college and the schemes in college are, are are so much like the NFL more now. They're more prepared for it. Quarterbacks don't take any time hardly at all. You can come in, you can play right away. Tight end, those guys play right away. None of them are ever good. Right yeah. away. Remember when OJ Howard got drafted? Oh, yeah. Evan Ingram got drafted. Everybody thought all oh, these guys are going to be studs. It's just not how the game works. It usually. Now, I think takes Hawkinson three. has a better chance because he's going to be more of a receiver. Well, it, he's not just more of a receiver, but I, he can block. Like that's that's well, no, what yeah, made Gronkowski. No, he's going to so be different. on the field and he's yeah. going to make things. You're right for, but but no offense. And he'll, he'll split time, time with Jesse James and and. It's just one of those things where that. when you spend a first round pick on a tight end. You, as an organization, you have to understand that his first two years are going to be learning because yes. playing tight end in the NFL is just so different than how every offense in college plays tight end. Yeah. 
All right, so I've got them six and ten. You've got them seven, I'm seven and nine. And nine. I don't like this team. I think they're gonna be yeah. better. Moving on.